Hey guys, so today's video is so exciting because you guys are finally getting a chance to meet my baby. Little Miss Lainey is finally home. She turned six weeks on uh, Saturday and we love her so much. She has been home almost a full week. She came home last Thursday and it is Wednesday, so almost a full week, and she's been doing really well. We had a weight check for her yesterday, and she's feeding really great. She sleeps a ton. She's just doing really amazing. Um, if you are new to my channel and you don't um, know our story, Lainey was born at 32 weeks gestation, so she was in she was eight weeks early, and she has been in the NICU um, up until this past Thursday. She was there just a few days shy of six weeks, and she's home now, and we are so excited. Um, she was born on August 6th, and she weighed two pounds, three ounces, and um, she just did amazing in the NICU. We were so lucky. She didn't have to have any oxygen. She was breathing on her own right away, and um, the only kind of hiccups that we had was um, her blood sugar. She had a little bit of a hard time um, regulating those, and then she was treated for jaundice twice. But uh, other than that, she was just labeled a feeder grower, so she just needed to learn how to eat, and she needed to grow. Um, she was discharged from the hospital right at four pounds. Um, she was four pounds when she came home on Thursday. We had a weight check yesterday at um, the pediatrician, and she's gained six ounces since she left the hospital. So she's four pounds, six ounces now, and she's grown an inch and a half in length in the past week and a half. So she's 18 inches long now. She was 14 inches when she was born. So she is growing, and she's doing so well. Um, our pediatrician said to just feed her at will. Um, she can eat as much as she wants, as frequently as she wants, because we want her to gain weight. Um, while she was in the NICU, I was pumping, um, but she was um, intaking and increasing her feedings very quickly that my body wasn't able to keep up. It is very hard, or it, it, for me anyways, it's very hard to pump and um, produce without having my baby at home. Um, for one, I didn't have a baby here forcing me to feed, so unfortunately I would let some of my pumping sessions, I wouldn't pump like on time, or uh, I would skip a session or two, things like that. But um, I was able to feed her straight, just my milk and keep up with her for like the first four weeks. And then um, about two weeks before she was discharged, she started increasing her feeds really, really quickly, and I was just not producing that much for her. So they started supplementing with formula. They were supplementing with Similac Neoshore, um, which has an extra 22 calories in it, which is good for her weight gain. Now that she's home, I have tried breastfeeding her, but um, I quickly realized that that just probably wasn't going to happen. For one, the first six weeks of her life, she wasn't breastfed. You know, she was on a gavage for the first, what is it? I think like the first almost four weeks, she was on a gavage, which is a feeding tube, and then she started getting her bottle feedings. So um, for us, just breastfeeding just didn't work out. You know, it was just the carts that we were dealt. I have tried, but she just was so used to drinking from the bottle that she just preferred that so much more. Um, also, her mouth is very small, so I was needing to use a nipple shield, and even the nipple shield was kind of large. So um, she just preferred to be fed by bottle, which is fine by me. Um, if you guys have seen any of my other videos, my pregnancy videos and things like that, I am very pro breastfeeding, but I'm not one of those people that shuns mothers who give their babies formula. I think every mother is different, every baby is different, all of our lives and situations are different, and being a wife and mom is hard enough. As long as you're happy, and your baby's happy, and your baby's getting to eat, it really shouldn't matter how they're getting their food. I think that breastfeeding is very tough, and for some people it's just very difficult. And if the mother is happier, um, not breastfeeding, the baby will be happier too because babies feed off of our moods and our emotions and you know, you gotta 
do what's best for you and what's best for your baby. Happy mama, happy baby. Um, leading off of that, I had my six week postpartum checkup. So this, this video is going to be the meet my baby and my six week kind of postpartum um, and six week update for her all rolled into one. Um, I had my six week postpartum checkup at my doctor and I'm cleared for everything. I can work out now. She said that my incision was looking really good. Um, if you remember in some of my past um, postpartum updates, I talked about that little bit of a shelf that I have from a C-section. Um, it's still there a little bit and the doctor said it may never go away. Um, so we'll just have to see what happens with that. But anyways, um, they asked me if I wanted to get back on birth control and I said absolutely because I have no plans on having another baby right now, if ever. Well, um, what the nurses failed to mention to me was that birth control can stop your milk production, which was just lovely because I still had planned on pumping. You know, the first few days that she was home, I was pumping every three hours. It was a lot easier for me to pump when she was home because while I would feed her, um, I would just pump at the same time. So it would kind of, it just worked out that way. So I would give her um, what I was able to pump throughout the day and then if I ran out and didn't have enough for her feedings I would just supplement with formula and that was working great up until You know my milk just stopped coming and I had only been on my birth control for two days And I saw a severe decrease and a severe change in my milk supply and I was pretty ticked about it But I've said before I stressed out hardcore when it came to breastfeeding with Kaysen um, and it was very difficult for me to stop. I only lasted a month with him um, because I had supply issues. Um, and I told myself I wouldn't do that this time, but I do feel guilty because she's a preemie. And um, I, I don't know, I just felt guilty. But I was doing so good at pumping and my milk was getting really good. And then all of a sudden this birth control thing completely screwed me up. Like it was, it's been so bad. Like I'm still trying to pump to make up for it where I'm only getting like 10, cc's out of each boob at a time which is just very sad and sometimes like when i was pumping it was just like clear it wasn't even any color in my milk so the birth control completely screwed that up with just two days so i called my doctor and i was like look i'm still trying to pump um and the nurse failed to tell me that birth control would stop my milk production so um there's birth controls that are uh, breastfeeding friendly so they um called me in a prescription for it so I'm taking that now so they said that my milk may come back it may not so I'm still pumping to see if I will be able to get it back I made a lactation smoothie this morning and um and my milk the color is back which is nice because it was like almost completely clear yesterday but um it's nice and white and actually looks like milk today but I'm still only getting about 10 cc's from each boob so I'm gonna still pump over the next few days and I'm gonna give it a good week if after a week my milk still has not come back I'm just going to stop pumping she's been doing perfectly fine on the formula and honestly right now I'm thinking that formula is that formula is probably what's best for her right now anyways because the pediatrician really wants her to eat and start to gain more weight um, and that formula has extra calories in it and it's just, it's really helping her to grow. So um, we'll just see how it goes. I will keep you guys updated. I, I really would like to still be able to pump and still be able to give her some of my milk. But if it just, if my milk doesn't come back due to the birth control, then at least I tried. I've made it longer than I did with Kaysen though, so that's good. It's I've made it six weeks with her and I was only able to do it for a month with Kaysen. So um, I'm still proud of myself, but um, I definitely think that it's wrong that women shame other women for choosing not to breastfeed or giving up on breastfeeding. I just think that's very wrong and I just don't think it's right. I think that it's hard enough to be a woman as it is and that women should support each other and bring each other up and not tear each other down based on the decisions that we make for ourselves because everybody is different and every family works different and what may what might work for me might not work for you and vice versa and there's nothing wrong with that as long as we are healthy as long as our babies are healthy and we're all happy that's all that matters but Lainey is um finally fitting better into her clothes she's in preemie clothes right now um she probably will be in preemie clothes i'm thinking for at least the next few weeks 
Um, if she keeps gaining at the rate she's gaining though, um, she'll probably be a newborn close in the next month I would imagine because she, it hasn't even been a full week and she's already gained more than half a pound. So she's gaining more and faster now that she's home than when she was in the hospital. Those last two weeks in the hospital, two or three weeks in the hospital, her weight gain really, really slowed down. But now that she's home, she can eat whenever she wants. She can eat as much as she wants. Um, her weight gain and her growing has definitely picked up, which makes me really happy. Um, she's in preemie size diapers. I have both pamper swaddlers and the um, Huggies. I can't think of what the Huggy ones are called that I have, but I'll put the name here on the screen. Um, I have the creamy size in both of those for her, but I, for her, I like the creamy Huggies better. With Kaysen, I love the Pampers Swaddlers. They fit him really, really well. Um, the Huggies right now, though, fit her so much better than the Pampers Swaddlers. And both the Huggies and the Pampers are cut very differently, so I think it really just depends on your baby's body shape because I hated Huggies with Kaysen. He leaked so bad with the Huggies, but um, the Pamper Swaddlers were just perfect for him, and they still are. He's still not fully potty trained, so he has to wear a diaper at night. Um, but yeah, so far I like Huggies with her. I still have the Honest Company diaper subscription, but they don't have premium size, so I've just been stocking up on newborns from them. Um, but just like with any diaper brand, I've heard pros and cons about everything. I think it just depends on you and your baby, and that's why there's different styles and different brands, because every kid is different, and certain things work better for certain people. Um, but that's pretty much it for her. Oh, feeding-wise, she when she left the hospital, the day she left the hospital, she started taking two ounces. Um, she's now at two and a half ounces, and I talked to the doctor yesterday because... Um, she's been on two and a half ounces for a few days and sometimes after feeding she still acts like she's hungry but I was nervous to give her any more than that because she's so small I didn't want to make her sick but um, the PD said that he was comfortable with her eating as he just told me to feed her as much as she wants and he's comfortable with me giving her up to four ounces right now at this point which I think is seems crazy because she's so small and I mean I could imagine there's only so much that your belly can take but um, Sometimes after two and a half ounces, she acts like she's still hungry. So um, if she does still act like she's hungry after that two and a half ounces, I'll just make another bottle and just put one ounce in it and see if she'll take it instead of making a whole other bottle because I just don't want to waste the formula. This formula gets expensive after a while after you, you know, when you buy it a whole lot. But she sleeps all day long. She's hardly awake at all. She sleeps so much. But she's a little bit of a night owl. And I think I figured out why. Um, when she was in the NICU, it was never completely dark. The lights were always on. It was always dimmed in there. And there was always noise. There was, like, there was no night and day in the NICU. It's all the same. So there's always monitors going off, babies going off, babies going off, babies crying, um, lights on, nurses talking, that kind of thing. So here at night, it's completely dark and it's completely quiet. So she doesn't sleep as good at night as she does during the day. And I think that's because she's used to the light and she's used to the noise. So um, I can't think of what they're called, but I've seen them at Babies R Us and Target. And it's like this little lamb that has like different sounds. It's like a plush stuffed lamb um, that you can set in the bassinet that makes like, I think it's like a heartbeat noise and maybe like rain and nature sounds and stuff. So I'm thinking of getting one of those for her um, to put in her bassinet at night um, to put on really, really low to see if adding a little bit of noise helps her to sleep better at nighttime. I'm um, speaking of bassinets. If you didn't watch my last vlog, we did get the Halo bassinet and I wanted to update you guys on the Halo. Um, first impressions of the Halo before she came home, just when we put it together, I did not think I was going to like it. Um, it just... I just didn't think I was going to like it. One, um, the expense. And it seemed to spin very, very fast. Well, we've had it for almost a week. We've been testing out for almost a week. And I actually do really like it. That spinning that I was talking about in the vlog, it doesn't do that when the baby's in there. I guess when there's weight in the bassinet, it... Um, it just adds weight to it so it's not as light it doesn't spin as much but um, I have been really liking the halo so I 
first impression, I did not like it at all. But after using it, I actually do really like it. I really do like the swivel. Um, the spinning hasn't been an issue at all. It's just, I really like it. So I just wanted to update you guys on that because I did have a very strong first impression on the Halo and I thought that I was going to hate it. I thought we were going to have to take it back, but it's actually worked out really well and I do really like it and that spinning has not been an issue at all once the baby's in there and it has some weight to it. Let me see if there's anything else for me. Oh, I, um, after my six week post perm checkup, I did um, do a workout. I am so ready to start working out again. Um, Jesse James Decker, I'm obsessed with her. I love her so much. Um, she posted a workout video here on YouTube, um, I guess it was a few weeks ago, of her little at-home workout that she does. So I did that workout the other day, and oh my god, I'm so out of shape. It's, it's really actually pretty sad how out of shape I am. But um, I really want to get back into shape. I'm ready to get back into shape. I'm so glad that I'm at that uh, in the clear mark to work out. Um, I thought that maybe my belly would feel a little bit sore when I was doing my workouts, but it really didn't. But then again, I didn't do a lot of ab exercises. I don't plan on, um, well, I haven't really tried yet, but um, typically when I work out, I do a lot of core and ab exercises. I'm kind of nervous to do ab exercises right now, but I'm just going to try it and start slow. And, um, and if I experience any pain, I just won't do it. But um, I will try it out and see how it goes, but um, so far the working out is fine. I'm very sore, <laughs> at, not in my belly, but just like in my legs and my arms and stuff because I'm so out of shape and I haven't worked out in forever, but um, it feels good to be sore because I've just been so out of shape and I'm just so ready to get back in shape. Um, my last update was my one month postpartum update and I was still at 131 pounds. I hadn't lost any weight. Well, um, I weighed myself the other day and I was down to 128, which was really nice. So that's another three pounds that I had lost. So um, I was four, I'm four pounds away from my um, pre-pregnancy weight, but I am actually, how much weight do I actually really want to lose now? I'm still like eight to 10 pounds away from where I really want to be. So I started meal prep. I actually had time to meal prep this week because I wasn't going to the hospital every day, so I actually had time to do something for myself. So I meal prepped this week. I um, prepped chicken to make for the week, and I prepped some veggies to make for the week so that I could just pop my lunch in the microwave and have something healthy and good for me to eat for lunch. So that's been nice. So I'm going to try and meal prep every Sunday for not just not for dinners, but just for lunches during the week, so that I can try and stay on track because what you eat is so much more important than your workouts. Um, that's what's really going to help me to lose some of the extra weight is um, making sure that I'm making healthier choices whenever I'm eating lunch and stuff like that. But that's pretty much it for our six week update. Um, and for the meet my baby, I'm so excited that she's finally home. So happy that she's home. Um, and I'm so glad that you guys can finally meet her. I love her so much. Um, this gown and hat, by the way, is from the Etsy shop, Jake and Beth. Um, I have three gowns from them, and I just think that they're so adorable. I love baby gowns, by the way. I think that they're so easy. Oh, my little hair's on there. Um, they're so easy, and they're just so precious. But um, I just wanted to introduce you guys to my sweet little baby, because I've been talking about her for six weeks. And I haven't um, been able to show you guys to her, but if you don't already, um, follow me on Snapchat. I post little videos of her um, every now and then and pictures of her on my Instagram. So um, those are two are always linked down below in the description box if you want to keep up with us on the daily. But that's going to be it for now. If you guys have any questions for me, just leave them in the comments down below. And I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.